Every bass angler, no matter how long they've been fishing, has a personal best. For some of us, that may be three, four pounds, others that may be 10, 11, 12, 13. And that goal every season is to break that mark. Well, these four areas are gonna help you get there. And I think these are things that we often overlook, but they definitely, definitely make a difference. Number one is quiet boat control. And I'm talking about roaring into an area, coming down off pads, slamming, you know, lid lockers, all that type of stuff. Now, bass don't have ears as we have ears, this traditional sense of identifying sound, but they are ultra sensitive at picking up vibrations. And what is sound? Sound is vibrations. So all of these things that we do in the boat and on the boat deck can be sensed under the water. And we have to remember water is more dense than air. Vibrations, sound vibrations, travel faster and more efficiently through water than they do through the air. Remember, bass can sense and feel the vibrations of crawdads crawling on rocks. So if they can pick that up, you know they can tell when we are being extra loud on the boat deck. Now this may not always spook them or scare them away. They may still be there and stay there, but we have alerted them to our presence, which may shut them down when it comes to biting, and that's the key factor. The second thing we can do is make longer casts. Now, if we're flipping and pitching in real muddy water, tight to cover, that's one thing, but if you're fishing in water that has some clarity to it, or especially if you're fishing in a Clear Lake situation, we need to be making much longer casts. And once again, that comes down to not letting those big bass know that we are there. If I can throw that lure 10, 15, 20 yards farther out, that means that they are less likely to pick up our presence. The third one is quiet lure entry. Now there are times when those fish are aggressive and it has a splash or you know kind of bounces off a dock or something like that. Yeah they can just get them to react and bite. But day in and day out those bigger fish man they got that way because they're really good at survival and they know what is going on. So if we can make those lures enter the water quietly and just kind of flash right down in front of them, that can definitely get those fish to react and get a good bite. And quiet lure entry is something that we can all work on all the time and just challenge yourself. Make sure that jig or that Texas rig just slips right into the water, right where you want it to, and your odds of catching that personal best definitely increase, but it takes a lot of practice. And this last one, this fourth one, man, I have really found this to be true. Those big fish with those big vacuum type mouths, they can just pull in a lure so quickly without even moving and spit it right back out. We've probably all seen underwater footage like that. Well, when they do that, when those big fish inhale that lure, it is the tiniest thump, the most imperceptible thump. And oftentimes as anglers, we do this, we're like, was that a bite? And then often that's it, it's too late, it's gone. If they don't identify that as real as something that they want, that lure is already back out of their mouth. The biggest smallmouth I ever caught on Lake Erie was the smallest bite I have ever gotten from a smallmouth. Thank goodness Lake Erie was glass calm so I could feel it and I was fishing a tube and it was just, I mean, the tiniest bump. For whatever reason, I didn't hesitate at all. I set the hook and that thing was a beast. It was huge. It hung off of a 22 inch bump board I had in my tournament equipment, a monster. So make sure if you just even think it doesn't feel right, swing away, set that hook. Hook sets are free. And if you'd like to watch a video about our perception of what we think lures are doing, what they're actually doing under the water, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.